Hey, hey friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. This week I have a seven meals for you and they are all absolutely delicious. Um, some of them were part of other videos so I will have those videos linked below for you so you can get the recipes and ideas for that. But all of these were so good and so delicious and I don't know they will definitely be getting added to our meal rotation. <laughs> Let me tell you that one. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment below and think about subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family because I would absolutely love to have every one of you all and I just enjoy talking to you all um, even though I might be a little bit long-winded but that is just me and I hope you all enjoy it um, but without further ado y'all let's get into this week's what's for dinner come on y'all let's go Tonight's dinner is the chicken yoki copycat um, olive garden soup. So I have some half and half heavy cream, a chicken broth, cavenders, some thyme leaves, gnocchi, chicken broth. This is some frozen, sh frozen, <laughs> frozen shredded chicken. I just pulled it out of the freezer. You'll need some sliced carrots, um, some minced garlic, and some baby spinach. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this together. I'll have the recipe linked below if you're interested in it. But this is going to be dinner tonight. Let's make it. All right, so we have the butter and the chicken in my little Dutch oven. And I'm just going to kind of let that cook down. We're going to throw in these onions that I diced up. And then we're just going to kind of let that cook for a little bit. Um, I didn't have any celery to put in this. That's the one thing that I could not get today. <laughs> so we will just have it without. I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we're going to throw in these carrots as well. I like lots of carrots. All right. So we're just going to let that kind of get happy. And I'll bring you back here in just a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this chicken broth to kind of help break down the chicken and kind of cook everything for right now. But that's literally all I'm doing. And then I'm just going to put this lid on and um, let that come together. All right, the angle might have changed because I had to pick up my phone. So... I've been checking on it and trying to break more chicken up, and I think it's almost done if I don't slosh it everywhere. <laughs> um, so now even the onions and the carrots are tender. Oh, what is that? That's a bad carrot. We'll just put it over there. That shoe. All right, y'all. So now that, that there's just that one little piece of chicken right here, um, since that is done, we're going to go ahead and throw in the seasonings. So we've got some cavenders. This is some thyme. <laughs> Everybody needs a little thyme, extra thyme. So I just threw in some thyme leaves. And now we're going to add in the garlic. Y'all already know I like a lot. And then we're going to stir that together. Mmm, smells so good already. All right. All right, so we got that in there. We're going to go add in this whole 32 ounce. This is low sodium chicken broth. You can use whatever kind you want. I'm going to go add just about a cup of water to this. Yep, I forgot to turn the camera on. Thought I hit the thing and I didn't. All right, so now the chicken broth and the water is in there. We're gonna go ahead and let this come to a boil. And then we're gonna add in the gnocchi and um, 
Let me see when we add in the spinach. Half and half in spinach is the last because it doesn't take very long. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then we will add in the um, yoki. All right, it has come to a boil. We're gonna cut it down. All those gnocchi have cooked. Um, you know that they're done because they'll float to the top. It's kind of just like cooking tortellini. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna go ahead and add in, since it's still boiling, the spinach, some of it, and we're gonna give it a stir. Let's see what that looks like. So it might need a little more. Because I love spinach. We just put that whole bag in there, which was six ounces. I knew I got two bags for a reason. <laughs> so we're gonna let that cook a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and add in our creams or our milks. Like I said, I'm gonna add in a little bit of a heavy cream first, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a richness. And I need to use that one up, so. Now we're gonna come in with a little bit of half and half. Now we're gonna stir this together and this is just gonna sit here and get happy. And I will bring you back when we serve up the bowls. All right, y'all, here is the soup. It is done. I decided to throw a block of cream cheese in there too, just to give it a little bit of more creaminess to it. Um, I tasted it. I'm hooked, y'all. I am hooked. So I followed the copycat recipe, but all I did different was just add a block of cream cheese. So I'm gonna get me a bowl. So this is one meal that was part of the cookbook collab. So I'll have that video in the recipe linked below for you all to check it out and show all the creators some love. But this one was absolutely delicious and I will definitely be making it again. Five ingredients or less, you can't beat it. <laughs> so I hope y'all will try it and that y'all enjoy it. Hey, hey friends, tonight's dinner is a bruschetta chicken and or bruschetta, however you want to pronounce it. And then I'm going to make some zoodles, or squash and zucchini to have with the um, bruschetta chicken. So you'll need some chopped up chicken. I just used tenderloins. I took the tendons out and then cut them into chunks. I have some balsamic vinegar and then we have balsamic glaze, garlic, salt, pepper and then we'll have some oregano and then you'll need some mozzarella cheese basil leaves and then I have some chopped basil too six Roma tomatoes which I have right here <laughs> and then of course if you want the zoodles then we're just gonna spiralize these and cook them in a little bit of olive oil and garlic but that is gonna be dinner tonight and I will have the recipe for this linked below in my description box if you are interested in how to make it but you just brown that chicken up first and then you put everything in a, to a casserole dish or baking dish and then you bake it until it's done and it's so good y'all all right, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw our chicken in a pan right here and just season it on up and get that just to where it's cooked um, browned on the outside because you're gonna bake this so it'll cook the rest of the way in the oven. 
All right, so the chicken is almost done. We're gonna cut it back on and add a dash of balsamic vinegar. The garlic and the um, oregano. So we got the vinegar in there and now we're just gonna spread some garlic around. And some oregano. That's gotta go in there. Dogs are going crazy. So we're just gonna bring this back up to a boil, get that chicken coated in that balsamic vinegar and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the pan, the pan sprayed. So what we're gonna do, huh, there was that chicken that I threw out. We'll dump that in there. Get all that yummy Mason. bits out. Mason. <laughs> Mason, Joby got a treat for you. It's time for their treats. All right, so we've got that in there. Next thing we do is add the tomatoes. Sorry, I bumped it. Tomatoes. And maybe we should put this balsamic glaze. Hold on a second. A 16. So we put a drizzle of balsamic glaze over top of the tomatoes. A 16th of that is 80 calories. <laughs> And then on top of that, we layer some fresh mozzarella. There's 1,300 calories <laughs> in that entire wall. Calories don't count when the food's good. <laughs> That's well, sure. in the entire thing. Sure. That's what I'm saying. They don't count on birthdays or good food. That's, no, it's not That's how I'm saying. It's almost birthday time, number 21. All right, so we've got that. And now... We put the fresh basil. Now this goes in the oven at 375 degrees until it's nice golden brown and bubbly. And then we'll serve it up and we'll be ready to eat. I didn't forget these. I do have them. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn these off, but this is the zucchini and squash. And it is done because it's gonna steam up the camera. But that's all done and that's gonna be dinner tonight. Hey, hey friends, tonight's dinner is Southwest chicken, Southwestern uh, chicken salads. <laughs> I don't know what you would call them. That's what I'm going to call them. Um, so I just got two packages. So that's eight chicken breast. I'm going to cut them in half though. Um, that way I, we can have the 16 pieces of chicken. We can have leftover chicken if we need to do something else with it for lunches or other salads. And then I've got the tortilla strips, just the salad topper kind. I got some black beans, some white corn, um, roasted red peppers, and of course the Cajun seasoning for the chicken. And I have the lettuce in the fridge. Um, I have romaine, and then I've got like a spring mix. So that's what we're gonna use to make these salads. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken prepped up, cut it in half, and get it frying. And like I said, we're just gonna use the Cajun seasoning here. So good. <laughs> and then, hang on, let me go. Well, let me just walk over here and get it. Where did it go? This is the Brianna's home style, but it's the cilantro lime dressing. So that's the dressing we're gonna have with it. And I'll probably make some ranch too, just in case they don't want this. This does have jalapenos in it, but I think it'll be good. So that is what's for dinner tonight, AKA supper. <laughs> All right y'all, so we have the chicken cut. It is cut in half each piece. So we're gonna go ahead and fry all that up and hang on. Okay, sorry, had to wash my hands. Um, we're just gonna use this Cajun seasoning on both sides and I'll probably use some Cavender's or Nature seasoning as well. 
Um, and then we're just gonna fry it up in this pan. I just put a little bit of butter in here. I'm gonna go ahead and let it melt. And I'm gonna fry up all this chicken and cut up the lettuce, drain the black beans and the corn, of course, and then cut up some of those peppers to put in the salad as well as the cheese. And then I'll bring you back and show you the finished salads because all you have to cook is just make the chicken. So that is it. friends tonight supper is a tomato soup and grilled cheeses i just sent leo down the food line though because i needed some bread <laughs> i only had a half a loaf and i got four people to feed so um when i make my tomato soup this is the only brand that i will use i have tried the great value brand and all the other store brands and i can't get past it I don't know, maybe I'm spoiled to this, so I will pay the extra money and get the Campbell's, but that's okay. So when I make it, I use two cans and then I fill one can up with about half water and then um, the rest of the can with um, the heavy whipping cream. And then that's how I add it to my soup. So sometimes I'll do like one can water, one can heavy whipping cream. It just depends on the mood I'm in. I'll add a little bit of butter some nature seasoning and some cavenders to that and i'll let that cook down and then i'll usually top it with chives um or whatever um like fresh onions or whatever but usually i go with chives and then of course grilled cheese is just grilled cheese so that is what we're having for dinner tonight so i'll bring you back and show you the finished plates Welcome to Josh's 21st birthday dinner. This will be a separate vlog, so um, I'll show you everything and how we do it in that. But this meal was absolutely delicious and it hit the spot and my baby enjoyed it. So that's all that matters. <laughs> y'all tonight's dinner was takeout i didn't feel like cooking we we're getting the remnants of that um hurricane in i n in <laughs> and now it's like a tropical storm depression and we're getting the some wind and rain off of it so i went through little caesars and got two of the pepperoni deep dish so that's gonna be dinner tonight all right, y'all, that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. God bless, my friends. Bye.